videotaping? Why are you videotaping our store? Well, I want you to what I do it. have a problem with is my privacy. You bothering me with my privacy. You know what I'm going to do? You ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to do shit. Here's PD pulling in now. What? Y'all didn't get verbal with uh, anybody from here, correct? Oh, I don't answer questions. How's it going, guys? Watching the Watchmen here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Miramar Beach, Florida. And today we're at Fluent Cannabis Care. And as usual, we're gonna take some video here on the public sidewalk and uh, see if these folks respect our First Amendment right to do so. Today is Friday, November 5th. 2021 it is 3 48 p.m and uh 63 degrees and partly sunny partly cloudy so here's the building yeah so a couple of firsts here um this is actually my first time in florida uh, except for i was actually born in miami beach and uh lived there for like six months when i was a baby and then uh haven't been back since so this is my first time back in florida and uh this is our first time taking some video outside of this type of a business uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes on the door it says that there is 24-hour video surveillance here this is on the side of a very uh busy noisy road so hopefully you guys uh Hopefully the audio is fine. I think it will be. I've done a couple of plenty of videos with this uh, microphone by now, actually, and uh, never had an issue with that. So, so there's no flag on the flagpole, but it's just uh, the rope is just like smacking into the pole. That's what that noise is. I don't know if the video is picking it up. guy's a real genius clearly doesn't like that we're taking video and decides to be waving his hands around giving us the finger uh, draw, uh, drawing as much attention to himself as possible so. So AP's over there on the neighboring property getting some footage of the drive through Oh, they still have the signs up from when it was a bank. videotaping your store. Have you been you drinking? You can't even speak. Excuse me? I don't know. You just went, was that, I don't know what that was. You need to get off the property. I'm not on your property. You need to go back to work. You need to not be videotaping. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to videotape whatever I want. Go to another rip, man. You'll be all right.
Wow. Did you hear her when she was trying to talk? She was like, blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know. know. Elmer Fudd, dude. Yeah, I, ho I hope the mic picked done, it up. Yeah, it's that. loud, but wow. We can't film her and we have to get off the property. Yeah. <laughs> I can film her and I'm not on her property. Amazing. Yeah, so that was a real genius move there by that female employee. Um, walk right up to our cameras and tell AP that he's not allowed to film her. Uh, meanwhile, we're on the public sidewalk and then uh, she thinks this is her property. Fascinating. Now the uh, person in this car here looks like they're filming us. this person's doing now they're clearly butthurt they just pulled into the gas station next door went around the loop and now they're leaving so This person's triggered over here. Wow. 
guys. If someone's got you on video, they're allowed to get you on video. They're allowed to do what they're doing. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it. The best thing you can do is just walk to your car, get in your car, and go home. That's it. Otherwise, your other option is to do what this lady just did, make a complete ass out of herself. So I cannot, uh, in good faith, recommend you do that. But that's up to you. Genius move on her part. Um, she gets all pissed off that we're filming. So uh, she starts filming us back. AP starts filming her plate. And she decides to get out and uh, as, a, as a smaller, uh, older woman who claims to have Parkinson's, decides to get out and confront two grown men. That's uh, the most ridiculous thing I've heard all day, but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm 6'2", uh, and I wouldn't walk around getting in random people's faces for no reason. Uh, I don't think anyone should be getting in anyone's face for no reason. So that lady's over there triggering in the parking lot, saying uh, she was saying she was going to do something or call someone or something, and now she's over there sitting in the parking lot in her car. Oof, just dragged their vet on the driveway there. Oh, here's PD pulling in now. So here's Walton County Sheriff, uh, vehicle 2010, pulling in. I wonder if the screaming Mimi over there is going to come back. Yeah, I wonder. I'm sorry, I can't hear you with this traffic. I said, y'all aren't doing anything wrong. I just making sure that you guys were staying on the sidewalk, that's it. Gotcha, got you yeah. just name and badge number so I know who I'm talking to. Deputy Rev, badge number 419. 419, thank yes, you sir, sir. appreciate yes, sir. it. Uh, y'all didn't get, y'all didn't get verbal with uh, anybody from here, correct? Oh, I don't answer questions. Okay, no, that's fine, you yeah. don't have to. I was just making sure you guys weren't confronting anybody, but y'all are good out here. You're allowed to record out here. You're on county right away. You're allowed to record whatever you want, okay? You gonna go inside and let them know that? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Appreciate you, sir. Y'all have a good day. Thank you, do the same. Okay. Thank you. Well, there you go, guys. Good to know that uh, Walton County Sheriff uh, deputy came out and he knows that there is nothing against the law about standing on a public sidewalk taking some video and uh, we'll see how it goes from here but so far so good and uh, I don't want to give this officer too hard of a time uh, because he's been decent so far but just want to point out um, you know another instance of a police officer parking in not a parking space out in the middle of the driveway uh, when it's a non-emergency call and he first thing out of his mouth was we're not doing anything wrong so uh, just figured I'd take note of that interesting uh, the places police choose to park but uh, I don't know maybe if he uh, changes up his uh, tune maybe we'll bring that up but you know so far he's being decent and uh, no reason to uh, give the guy a hard time as of yet I sincerely just want to thank you and tell you how much I appreciate your professionalism and your knowledge and being educated. Uh, uh, how, I, how I look at it, you guys aren't breaking any laws. You're legally allowed to record whoever you want, as long as you're staying on, on county property, of course. Right. And you know that. You clearly are. Yeah, sure. You, you know your, your laws and your rights, so yeah. I'm not here to... Walton County is not going to be the place that violates your rights. So well, that's good to hear. We're not we're not here to violate anybody's rights. We're just here to make sure it's peaceful. Because she said she came out and talked to y'all, and it got confrontational. And I told her just to ignore y'all, and because you guys do have that right. I uh, think that's excellent just, advice. Just try. I, not saying you did. That's what she said. Okay. Just try not not getting confrontational. Well, if somebody comes out and starts talking to me, I answer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can answer. I'm not saying that. Sure. I'm saying try keeping it peaceful by, uh, I've stayed out by of being the bigger person. You I know what you. I mean? And I appreciate that. But yeah. I'm, I'm 51 years old. I've stayed out of trouble for a long time. Right? Hey. And I just want to ask you one question because I really, you're coming across 
you know, like anything in life, there's bad photographers, good photographers, bad law enforcement, there's some excellent law enforcement in this country, and we support good law enforcement. Yes, right? sir. So you're coming across as one of the guys on the good side today, and I appreciate that, and I thank you for that. I just The question I want to ask you is, what do you feel like a good police officer's worst enemy is? I'm going to stay away from anything political right now. No, okay? not political. I, no, no, nothing to do with politics. Just very generalized. Nothing gonna, to do with that. I'm going to I'll I'm answer, gonna, I'm I'll gonna answer it for you. Okay, A bad ahead. cop. Because bad cops are out there getting you guys in trouble every day. And we need you to police them because you guys are in a very unique situation that you police your own. Right? So we just want you to realize and think about that guys that are out there being tyrants, which there are some, okay, uh, someday somebody might take that out on you who's a nice guy and then your family has to deal with it so yeah. we just ask that if you see any other officers that are not honoring the road not upholding the law not doing the right thing just have a talk with that's them. that's definitely what our sheriff uh requires of us down here anyway so. well that reflects in your behavior so. and your professionalism so hey you guys that. have a good day though i'm gonna thank get you, out sir. of here thank just you keep and the sincerely. peace be the bigger person okay it's, you do the same and stay safe appreciate it thank you thank you This is not a drive away of shame. This is a drive away of pride. And this officer should be proud of himself. That's the way it should be handled. All right, guys. So you saw how that went here at uh, Fluent Cannabis Care. Um, I think the deputy uh, did a great job. First thing uh, he said when he got here is he knew we weren't doing anything wrong or breaking the law. And uh, we were within our rights. And hopefully he educated the folks who work here. At the end of the day, it seems like everything worked out uh, fine the way we like to see it uh you know it would have been better if these people didn't give us a hard time in the first place uh but them trying to give us a hard time gave us the opportunity to speak to the officer uh deputy and um see how that went so good to see and uh you know unless anything else happens we might stick around for a minute but unless anything else happens that's going to be about it for this one so uh contact info is always in the description uh, for everybody we deal with, so for the uh, Cannabis Care Place here, as well as the Sheriff's Department, Walton County, Florida. And uh, highly recommend you check out the description on all my videos, because there's a lot of good info down there. And if any of you guys uh, live in the area, or you're going to be traveling through and you want to do a follow-up here, and take some video on the public sidewalk, uh, then maybe we'll find out if they really got educated or if they're going to give the next guy a hard time. So not asking anybody to do that, but if you do, uh, maybe send me a link or something. I don't know. Appreciate all your support. I think I'm about 96,000 subscribers right now, coming up on 100 um, pretty quick. And if you like this channel and you appreciate what we do and you want to support the channel, uh, the biggest things you can do to do that are to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, uh, share this video with your friends, and check out my other social medias. And uh, that's how, that's about it for this one, guys. So watching the Watchmen, out with Amagansett at Press, here in Miramar Beach, Florida. See you on the next one, guys. Out. Well, hopefully the uh, older woman who claims she has Parkinson's um, We'll learn a little something from this uh, about public photography. Maybe the uh, police have already called her back and let her know. I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks like she's still parked over there. But, um, you know, hopefully she'll learn about the law and um, maybe she'll reconsider uh, getting in people's faces. I don't think anybody should get in people's faces. And especially if you're at such a disadvantage being an older, smaller woman with uh, Parkinson's, so she said. Um, you know, 